in today's video i'm going to be making a cheeky little lamb shank dish for sunday dinner so off camera i washed my meat rinsed it with uh water vinegar and lemon so that's just me discarding the lemons right now i'm putting on a bit of lamb seasoning all over the meat next we've got a little bit of black pepper And as you can see with most of the spices i just eyeball it so as long as it covers most of the meat and think about obviously you've got to season the other side of it as well so enough to cover both sides of the meat This is just a lamb, um, what's it called, stock cube. So when I add the water to the pressure cooker, obviously I don't want it to get all unflavored. So if you add a little bit of a lamb stock cube, it helps to sort of retain that flavor, add a little bit of, you know, the extra. Again, off camera, I mixed all of the seasoning in together with my hands. I don't ever moaning, oh, it's me, you've got to wear gloves, blah, blah, blah. I done it with my hands, so it's off camera. Choose to use a spoon or however you like to marinate your meat, but I use my hands. Another tip for what I do off camera, I pierce my meat with um, a little knife, quite a thin knife, just so that all of that flavouring can get inside of it and it's not just coated on the outside as well. So here is my Ninja Foodie pressure cooker, slow cooker air fryer. Right now I'm just searing off the meat just so it gets um, a brown coating on the outside before I put in the rest of the liquid to pressure cook it. In this bowl is just a leftover seasoning from when I put the meat in the um, pressure cooker. So I'm going to add a little bit of boiled water to that seasoning and that will make the base of the gravy for the lamb. point I set my pressure cooker to I think I put it on high heat for 45 minutes in the hopes that it will be done by then. So while the lamb was cooking I decided I wanted some prawns with my dish so I just put in a pan a bit of um, butter, garlic, a little bit of sea salt and some parsley and I'm going to throw some seasoned prawns into there as well. You don't want your garlic to burn so as you see the butter start to bubble sort of over turn your fire right down. So to season these prawns, I kept it really simple. Salt, black pepper, garlic, parsley, and some chili flakes. Or in a little squeeze of ketchup as well. Prawns really don't take long to cook, so please don't overcook them. As you see them starting to curl up into that little C shape, I tend to turn it off and um, cover it with foil or something and let it finish cooking in that way. So here I'm just releasing some of the steam from the pressure cooker. And um, here's my mate. It's, at this point, you can't really tell, but it's so tender, like falling off the bone. Here's the final dish. I paired the lamb with a little bit of creamy mash, some bok choy, and there's the prawns that we just made. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.